Welcome back to Lifestyle and Net Worth. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what your life is like when you're a member of a very famous American rock band. What would your life look like if you were the founder and bassist of the band Motley Crue, Nikki Six? Where would you live and what car would you drive? Well, in this video, we're going to be finding out how these icons live their lives. And this new music was so important to us. Never thought it would happen. You know, me and Tommy have been pretty open about the fact that we, like when the, ba the band ended, we weren't even talking. Nikki Six is the founder and bassist of the band. Nikki Six has a net worth of $45 million. He practices transcendental meditation. And he considers it an important self-help technique. During an interview with Wall of Sound, Nikki revealed he's working on a children's book with his wife and a coffee table poetry slash photography book. During his time with Motley Crue, Six was addicted to heroin. He said that he overdosed about half a dozen times. On December 23, 1987, Six overdosed on heroin. He was reportedly declared clinically dead for two minutes before a paramedic revived him with two syringes full of adrenaline. Six married Playboy playmate Brandy Brandt in 1989. They have three children. Gunner was born in 1991, Storm in 1994, and Decker was born in 1995. Six and Brandt divorced in late 1996. Just one month after Six and Brandt divorced, he married Playboy Playmate and actress Donna DeErico. They have one daughter, Frankie Jean, born in 2001. They separated and reconciled a number of times before divorcing in the summer of 2007. Six married Courtney Bingham in March of 2014. They have a daughter, Ruby, born in 2019. In July 2014, Six and his wife bought a mansion in the Los Angeles suburb of Westlake Village for $4.125 million. The 10,300-square-foot single-story home is set on 1.2 acres within an exclusive gated country club called North Ranch Country Estates. The home has high ceilings, large main rooms, a family room, wet bar, and extensive loges that make the home ideal for entertaining. A spa sits off the swimming pool, and another is by the master suite. The pool cabana has bathrooms, a covered area, and an outdoor shower. There are a total of six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. In October 2020, he listed his home for sale for $5.699 million. He sold the home in September 2021 for $5.18 million. Nikki Six drives a Ferrari 458 Spider. A sedan. a BMW X5, and a Ferrari 246 Italia. Dope. Let, you know, let me make a beat to that, or, you know, jump on a synthesizer, or play in some drum. I get inspired with all kinds of stuff. Tommy Lee was a co-founder and the drummer of the band. Tommy Lee has a net worth of $70 million. In 2004, Lee started a reality show on NBC titled Tommy Lee Goes to College. Lee was one of the producers of the show. In the spring of 2008, Lee began filming another reality TV show with rapper Ludacris for Planet Green titled Battleground Earth. In September 2007, Lee was kicked out of the MTV Video Music Awards ceremony after engaging in a fight with Kid Rock. 
In 1998, Lee served six months in county jail after pleading no contest to kicking Pam Anderson while she was holding their son, Dylan. Lee's first wife was Elaine Starchuk. They were married in 1984 and divorced in 1985. On May 10, 1986, Lee married actress Heather Locklear. The couple divorced in 1993. Locklear went on to marry Bon Jovi guitarist Richie Sambora, with whom she has a daughter, Ava. After he divorced Locklear, Lee was then briefly engaged to model Bobby Brown. On February 19, 1995, Lee married Pamela Anderson. They'd met just four days earlier. They have two sons together, Brandon and Dylan. The couple divorced in 1998. Lee was engaged to Prince's ex-wife, Mayday Garcia, from 2002 to 2003. Lee was engaged to Greek-German singer Sophia Tufa from 2014 to 2017. On February 14, 2018, Lee announced that he'd proposed to his girlfriend, Brittany Ferland. They were married a year later on February 14, 2019. On February 14, 1995, Tommy paid $837,886 for a home in the hills of Malibu. This is the home he would soon share with Pamela Anderson. Tommy sold the home in 2005 for $2.5 million. In late May 2018, Lee listed his Calabasas, California home for $4.65 million. The 10,000 square foot home has six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, as well as an atrium with indoor waterfalls and a retractable glass roof. Tommy Lee owns a Rolls Royce. A Ferrari F8 Tributo. an Audi, and a Mercedes Maybach. Uh, making this a very much spectacular last couple years with uh, Motley Crue before we you know, decided to full on throw in the towel. Mick Mars was the lead guitarist of the band. Mick Mars has a net worth of $70 million. For most of his professional career, Mars has openly struggled with ankylosing spondylitis, a chronic inflammatory form of arthritis that mainly affects the spine and pelvis. Mars, in his early career, used guitars that were popular at the time, Kramer, and other superstrats. On occasion, he used a black Gibson Les Paul and sometimes a BC Rich. Mick Mars wed his first wife, Sharon Deal, in 1970. They divorced three years later. In 1990, Mars married Emmy Cannon, whom he divorced in 1993. Later, in 2007, he met and began dating Swiss model Serena Fai Schonenberger, who's 33 years his junior. The two married in 2013 and live in Nashville, Tennessee. He moved from Los Angeles to Nashville sometime around 2013 and lives there with his wife, Serena Mars, a model and former Miss Zurich. Mick Mars drives a Corvette, a Ferrari, and a Harley. I got like a hundred shows booked this year, and and um, you know I did uh, about 80 shows last year, so just do the same thing, man. Vince Neil is the lead vocalist of the band. Vince Neil has a net worth of 50 million dollars. In 2006, Neil opened his own tattoo parlor called Vince Neil Inc. The shop's located on the Las Vegas Strip. Neil founded Vince Vineyards, a winemaking venture that produced a 2003 Napa Cabernet Sauvignon and a 2003 Sonoma County Chardonnay. He also produces a limited edition Petite Syrah through EOS Estate Winery. 
In 2005, Neo created the Off the Strip Poker Tournament, which takes place in Las Vegas. On August 15, 1995, Neil and Ruddle's daughter, Skylar Neil, died of cancer at the age of four. He founded the Skylar Neil Memorial Fund in her honor. Neil has a son from a girlfriend named Tammy, named Neil Jason Wharton, born October 3, 1978. Neil married his first wife, Beth Lynn, in 1981. They divorced in 1985. They had one daughter, Elizabeth Ashley Wharton, born October 29, 1983. In April 1987, Neil married Cherise Ruddle, a mud wrestler and fashion model. The couple had one daughter, Skylar Lene Neal, before divorcing in 1993. In early 1993, he began dating actress and Playboy playmate Heidi Mark after a blind date arranged by her makeup artist. The two were engaged within two months and married in 2000. After just 15 months of marriage and several attempts at reconciliation, they divorced in 2001. Neil married his fourth wife, Leah Gerardini, in January 2005. In 2010, Neil announced their separation. Neil owns a huge mansion in Danville. Neil put a $2.58 million price tag on the 5,730 square foot property, which features an extensive outdoor area with a pool and patio. Vince Neal drives a Hummer H2, a Rolls-Royce Silver Spur III, a Bentley Continental GT, and a Dodge Magnum.